Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 36 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are in the brand new Butcher Trading Hall, walking just outside of it right now. This thing was extremely fun to build, the biggest thing that I have built in a while here. And it was fun to use all these different types of blocks. We even have iron golems that are popping up over here now. The village over here is thriving. And we are on day 4,950 right now. So I'm trying to get this next build done before day 5,000. We actually only have about 50 days to get that done. I think I can do it. Before I show you guys what we built on the last two long plays, and before we get the new goals on that goal board, I'm actually going to stop over here at the top of the iron farm. This is something that we built in episode 5, but it's something that I've been actually kind of neglecting. It's not like this roof is bad or anything, but uh, it just it needs a little bit of spice here. I'm going to actually add a couple of campfires. Oh man, you can hear the iron golem falling out right now. I'm super sorry about that, dude. Man, I'm trying to... Another guy's getting taken out. It's making, like, fixing this roof not very peaceful. Get some trap doors up here, and you know what? This is looking okay. I know it's not much, but it's something that I've been flying over. This, like, bare roof. And there goes another one. Man, this iron farm really just does the job. But I'm glad that I won't have to look at that anymore. Let's, uh, let's go check out this alpine lake that we built on the first long play. We gotta fly up and around all of these trees. And we'll go up to our mini home base. As soon, I'll get, like, a gazebo thing up here. But right for right now, I think just the bed and the crafting table and the ender chest that's that's doing okay with me i put some fish in here as you can see that salmon's kicking it like a dolphin all the other fish are doing good down here too i was gonna put some axolotls in here but they would just you know you know you can't have any fish one puffer fish is in here i, I stay away from that guy the rest of these guys are cool though i'm gonna keep on putting some more tropical fish in here this is our third little mini aquarium that we have and i'll probably keep on adding more i'm loving these aquariums actually thinking at some point we're gonna do a dedicated salmon aquarium and a dedicated cod aquarium Tropical fish dedicated aquarium would be cool, but then I would just want to collect all the tropical fish types, and I'm pretty sure there's like more than a thousand. I don't know how many there are, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot. Got an ender chest from up there. I'm actually going to take it all the way back to the build that we had last time. Let's throw this carpet down. All the way right here, there's a new bell, because I'm trying to get a lot more villagers over here. And if we walk over, I think an ender chest right here, that's just going to seal the deal for the new type of village. Wait, actually, now the deal is sealed. While we're here, and before I forget, I want to show the master trades. We have dried kelp blocks, and we have sweet berries. So I'm thinking a sweet berry farm is in order. Also, a kelp farm is in order. So a little bit more redstone. Probably going to have to go mining for some of that. And this trading hall, man, I think we actually only have two left. We have to do a toolsmith trading hall and I think a leather worker trading hall. And then we're good to go on all the trading halls. And then we're just going to have to wait for more job types to come through for more trading halls. Like if we could get a gardener trading hall or like a guardian trading hall. Or if there was a beekeeper trading hall or a scientist trading hall like one that sold potions that would be awesome what we're in right now is the beginning of the transport system for all of the villagers that are going to be coming from the desert i actually have two mine carts and i don't know why i opened up that shulker box but let's go on this right here right now we finally have an entire transport system just like the one on the other side but now we're on the north side of the island a bunch of jungle trees behind us and we have a bunch of new land that we can build out in the ocean and actually out over here next to the path that leads to rainbow mountain this thing is a little loud but man i love it it's an easy way to get all of the villagers over here we're gonna pass through rainbow mountain here on the inside and we pop out a little tiny hole right there and uh we're actually gonna have to make another one over here actually if we get off can i wait get back here get back please come back get back here what I was going to say is we can jump over here. I actually have some yellow still with me from the stream that I was doing earlier, but we can come up and I'll make a, probably a little bit of an archway. I'm thinking we have orange and then red. And then as, as soon as we get to the pink, oh, actually, I forgot about these lights. So these lights will probably have to come into unless we bring the arch just right over here. But it's nice to see the yellow over here now. We can finally start going inward with the warm colors. We're passing the very first pyramid that we spawned next to, and we actually spawned right over there, if you guys remember from episode one. The village will start to fade in over here. We have plenty of villagers already that are spawning. I laid down a bunch of beds, and there's no shortage of lighting on this, so a lot of the times these mobs that are going to be spawning at night in the desert are going to be a little bit further away from this now. We have a little bit of an area, and oh yeah, I forgot, I totally forgot hold on a second what's going on oh this villager is just in the way wait do you want to sir do you want to just get in wait get no 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 no. wait 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 
I'm gonna send this back down. Maybe some of these guys just want it. Yeah, let's do it. You know what, sir? This is this is absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna send you right back up there. You can just have a good time, sir. See ya. This guy right here, he's just, I, I don't know what's up. Uh, I'm just gonna send him. I'm gonna send him up. Oh, never mind. This guy got sent. Okay, never mind. This guy got, all right, we'll see you, dude. Got a bunch of beds set up here now for all these guys. I'm actually just going to start throwing a bunch of bread around because uh, I'm going to start throwing these guys back to the village, but these guys got to start making... Oh, there you go. Got right to it. I think we got a bunch of baby villagers upon... Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? Go up here, throw some bread at you, and you know what? I'm going to throw... Where are you at, sir? No. Oh, wait. That's a nitwit. You know what? The nitwits can still... Can they breed still? I'm not sure. Let's just throw a bunch of bread at this guy. Take the rest of the bread, please. We have so much. And actually, I think we just doubled the population, like, really quickly. There's four baby villagers just flying around here right now. And I gotta go back and catch up to these villagers that we sent off. I hope they're not too far. Looks like we caught them just in time. What's up, dudes? How you doing? It looks like one of them is slightly off the path. Oh, no, they're both still on the path. I actually almost just took one off the path right there. I need to stay back. Meow. Speed Racer 1 and 2 coming in hot. Oh my god, that was really quick. Okay, let's get these guys out. Acclimated back into society. Dudes, love y'all. Stay here. Okay, no, 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 no. What are you doing, sir? This is... Hold on. Well, now I'm stuck. Let's get you... Sir, this is not the way. Let's get you back. Oh, there you go. This is your new home, your new society. These guys are gonna absolutely love it here. Sir, you're gonna have to, you know, do a little bit more than hang out right next to where you just came in off the train from, but uh, let's put these back. I'm gonna go back to the goal board, because it's about time that we put about nine new goals on this board. Back over at the starter house, butcher trading hall, you are gone. Got a couple initial ideas here. First, we're gonna do a goat sanctuary. Then I'm thinking we do a donkey sanctuary. And a Strider Sanctuary also. Then I know it's been requested a lot, so I think I'm finally going to get to it and put it on the board. A Cat Sanctuary is, I think, uh, in order. Also, it's about time we get a Kelp Farm going, because those new butchers, we're going to they're gonna trade Kelp Blocks with them and Sweet Berries with them. After the Sweet Berry Farm, I think a Glow Squid Farm is going to be something that we're going to want. And then, I think for the two trading halls left, I think it's the Leather Worker Trading Hall and the Toolsmith Trading Hall right here, we have nine brand new goals this is looking fantastic this pup is staring at me and he's telling me i think we should maybe do a strider sanctuary so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this i'm this goal it's going off the board right now and we're gonna fly over to the nether let's go find some striders back in the nether we should probably make a nether hub pretty soon too i know in the comment section a lot of people have been asking for that what's going on clarique how you doing thanks for chilling in the nether keeping it safe over here i think we're gonna hop down this way though there's got to be some striders chilling down here and oh my god literally immediately we got some right here can i we got our strider riding a strider right here i want to be a strider riding a strider making a little delta path down here so i can get a little bit closer to these striders lay a saddle out on you and lay a saddle out on you and hey hey what do you where do you think you're going buddy hey yeah get back here you know what i'm gonna ride on you first and we're gonna go this way we are chilling we are officially chilling on a strider okay so now we just have to place a little bit of a home for him and i'm thinking maybe right under our nether portal right down here might be a good spot i might have to clear some of this out and uh yeah it's gonna be a little bit tough but uh at least we got this guy right here to help us and exploring down here is gonna be a little bit more fun now too we are going to have to name these striders, though, and I'm thinking names that start with S's are going to be the best, so let me know what you guys think. And I've been loving those names. Ow! And I've been... Jizo, dude! Been loving those name suggestions, by the way, so uh, appreciate you guys for leaving those down in the comments. Oh my god, he is so cold. He's shivering. Dude, get back in. Get in the lava! Get in the lava, sir! How can you see, dude? Your eyes are so far from each other. So we switched up the initial look of the nether portal that gets us to and from the base right outside the overworld and now we can get down with some twisted vines. I'm hoping that there's no hoglins down here because uh, they do tend to spawn sometimes but uh, we got the gold pants so we should be good for now. Yeah we got some over there. Look at this. We have a nice little tower to get us to and from our little strider sanctuary that I think is going to end up going right over here. So if we actually take a step back it actually kind of makes it look like we do have a lot of room. We have quite a bit of room, a lot more room than I originally thought, so we'll probably expand a little bit. Oh god, we have a lot of hoglins now. Big on! Actually, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. I should get out. I will just go up here and shoot them from right here because this is way less dangerous. 
Now, before I start bringing Striders over here and caging them up, I thought it would actually be kind of cool if we made this kind of look like a spa, like a natural hot spring, but it's in the nether. So I think that's what we're going to start doing. I'm going to start making a couple pathways out from this, a little bit over the lava, and I think we can make this look pretty cool. Went ahead and took the time to stream real quick so I could get a couple of the layers out here. It actually kind of started looking like one of the bastions, you know, like with the magma cube spawners. But one of my favorite things to do here is the lava with the smoke coming out of it. Add some ambiance, and the only way to do that is actually to get a soul campfire down there with a gate over it so that you can place the lava right on top of it and make it seem like the lava's smoking. I'm going to drink a potion of fire resistance real quick so that I can jump down because there's a lot of these that I wasn't able to get. And if I can actually just go into the lava like this, I can go under where that gate is and go bam. We can put that right there. If I go up, it actually should be working. I'm hearing a hoglin though, so I kind of want to get up and make sure there's not a hoglin around. Never mind, I must just be hearing things. Hoglins just keep on spawning. Oh, yep, never mind. I hear them there. What are you guys doing? You're too close for comfort, and you're gonna have to go, and you over here, you're gonna have to go too, and see you later. This is such a dangerous area. I'm glad we have the uh, potion of fire resistance, but I need to go down here. Yep, there's one right there, and I can put that right there, and I can also go over one more and put that right there i believe that's it let me go up to the tippy top it's dude swimming around in lava is so sluggish got the smoke coming out of both of these now nice okay we can keep going and get this all the way around now this little awning right here it's it's a little strange i know but actually um i have some flowering azaleas with me i know that uh they do not belong in the nether but uh, they are one of the few plants that actually reach the chain so with that in mind i decided to keep them there also the inside of the soul lanterns has a little bit of pink that kind of matches so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and say it works also might be kind of cool to go up here, place this, place that, get a little bit of azalea action going up on the top. It actually also might be kind of cool if we relit all these campfires. I took them out at first because that's usually what I do for the roofs in the overworld, but I'm not really ever going to be on top of it over here. So let's take a flight out real quick just to see what we are working with so far. Honestly, wow. Hold on a second. This is crazy. This is looking just like a bastion. Hoglins again, man. They're always, why are they always in there? Okay, we just saw one push another one in, man. That's just how it do be. I want to fly in here pretty slow. Nice. I actually like this awning a lot. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably just do this all the way around on four sides. This guy right here, why are you doing this too, man? I'm going to boop you out here. You don't need to be here. I'm also thinking that a barrier fence around this thing with some crimson wood might... Uh, that might be kind of nice. So actually, let's go out. We have one, maybe just three from this initial block. Or just use this as one, two. We'll go one, two, and then three out right here. So that would be probably down to here i just need to flow down to the bottom hopefully i can get there soon i see that actually you know what let's just go out one two like that you know what that's smarter love me some fire res man we are chilling vibing in the lava i am absolutely loving this hmm after second thought i'm thinking this might not work because the fences every time we do this it just kind of you know takes away the lava around it it's not like water where it flows into the fence the lava actually cannot go into where this fence is so that's uh, you know that's kind of a bummer Okay, we have an intruder. Sir, get out of here. What do you see? I told you. What are you doing, man? What I was gonna say is we need to go back over here, grab a lava bucket. I think the fire res is about to be gone. Uh, let's go this way. Let's get out here. Can I jump over here? Can I jump over here? Yes, I can. Let's go down here. I forgot to take this guy out. Let's do that and put you back. Perfect. We're gonna figure out a barrier. We're gonna figure out a fence. We'll get this done. Also, hoglins, man. Why are they ever... Get out of here, dude. Get out. This is my home, and you are in... you're invading. You need to be out of here. Actually, this is the Strider's home. I'm sorry. So we cleared up most of the area here, and we have that awning on all four sides, and we even put an entrance awning out here as well with a little bit of a dock that's completely made out of warped trap doors, and so I'm actually kind of liking this because I've never really made anything like that, and I still need to complete one over here, but I was thinking about putting this lava here instead of these magma cubes so i'm actually gonna have to come back with a lot more buckets of lava if i wanted to fill this up but i wanted to go around with the exterior with some lava because i think it's just gonna brighten up the outside that's what i already did with one block on the outside here and i need to come back even further of course my favorite way of getting the lava is drinking a big old fire res potion going out here actually let's just throw that back in there and then we can actually take a deep dive with a bunch of buckets all the way down here i like to just go bam 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 and bam go all the way back to the tippy top and then we can get out of here got a lot of flowing lava and i got a lot of places to put this stuff here i think that might clear this area up 
Something I almost forgot about, I'm lucky I didn't, is if I go down here, I wanted to put a chiseled block right below that right there. Yeah, there we go. That way it just makes it seem like a little bit more sturdy, like there's more structure underneath holding all this up. Get one on this side too, and then we'll go bam, and then we'll actually go down even further and grab all the lava that we can. Got some crimson fungus to kind of line up the sides here with, and I think I'm actually going to run out, so what I'm going to do is open this gate up. I have an open area over here that I brought out even further, and if I go over to the crimson wart, right, there we go. Let's just go, oh, that was actually kind of convenient. We can just bone meal and get as many of these as we want. There's actually still a couple over here that I didn't grab off the floor naturally, so I might grab these first, but uh, the bone meal is definitely going to help. And hold up, what do we have here? I don't remember putting that there. It's a big old spruce. Is that spruce wood? This is, yeah, this is spruce wood. Okay, I don't remember this being here. It's probably when I took a thumbnail for this nether hub for a long play, but uh, it's probably time to get this thing out of here. That's funny too, because I tried to clear out anything that was like just an obstacle or kind of didn't seem like it was supposed to be there for the world tour and world download back in episode 25. So this has been here for a while. This thing is looking crazy from far away. All we gotta do now is I think maybe just get some striders in there and maybe brighten up the backside. For starters, we do have this giant hill that we had made and uh, it's pretty it's pretty dark over here. So we could just make a hole out here, make it seem like lava's coming out. And this is probably gonna flow all the way to, guys, you gotta get out of the way of the lava. Get out of the way of the lava, this will hurt you. Sir, you are right in the line of sight. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's see how far this thing will go down this way. I mean, I'm sure it's going to go all the way down. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it covers up the whole thing. I guess I should have guessed that. I like having a lava waterfall here because it makes me not have to, you know, decorate and add any trees in the background. Probably end up planting some trees in this wide open space right here, though. Got another saddle and I got another warped fungus on a stick. Let's, uh, let's head out this way. I do see some striders out in the distance. How much fire? Are oh, we have 30 seconds left. Hold on. Let's go over here. Can I put a, uh, can I go over here and put a saddle on you real quick? Sir, I'm running out of time. I gotta put a saddle on you, and I'm gonna, let's do that, and let's do that. Can I get on? Let me on. I'm sorry. Well, this is not working real quick because the Strider's already riding that Strider, so let's go get another saddle, and let's go find one that's not being ridden. Take a nice, gentle flight down. Ooh, wait, this guy's already on. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. All right. Perfect. I forgot we already got a saddle on some of these guys. I'm gonna start walking a couple guys over here into the new sanctuary because I just want to see if they like it. Let's go this way a little bit. Let's go this way and let's get you next to the lava in here. That way I can just get off and boom, you are in, sir. Get in, go, you know, you don't have to be out the lava. Let's just push you. Let's push you in this way. There you go, sir. I do hope you enjoy. I'm gonna bring some friends. And friends, we did bring, we have quite a few of them in here now. They're all just kind of roaming around. I'm actually going to get down. We have the warped fungus here to uh, go ahead and make some more striders. Wait, let's get you back there. Let's get you over here. Everybody breed. Everybody make more striders. Baby striders, man. These guys are the way. Go over here. We can always make a couple more. Let's get you in here. Let's get you in here. Let's bring another one of these guys in. I'll open this gate. Let's uh, close the, wait, let's close the gate. And I'm off. And you guys are all good, man. Everybody just stay chilling. Let's go and see if some these guys want to make more striders also let's give you one of these two there you go bud what i did over here was get a bunch of saddles ready and a bunch of warped fungus on a stick ready to go in case we need to get back in here i think i'm gonna have a channel point redemption to get uh viewers names after these striders uh in the twitch chat and by the way uh the overlays for the twitch chat were on the video earlier i forgot to switch over to youtube instead of twitch and uh, i mean i do stream every single day so it was bound to happen at least once and i'm kind of surprised it didn't happen until right now but yeah sorry if you guys were wondering what those names meant or what the subs mean anything like that that's all for twitch and by the way feel free to come any Anytime it is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We do stream every single day. And these guys are uh, these guys are crowding me now. This is, this is a little strange, guys. What are you doing? So I do feel a little dumb because earlier I was trying to say that you needed fence gates in order to uh, have the lava not fall into the campfire. But I'm seeing here that uh, you just don't need that. So if I put one right here, there you go. If I go try to put one in the corner right here too, boom, there you go. No gates needed. And actually, all you, you guys can probably tell I have buttons everywhere. I didn't put them right here, though. I started placing buttons down because the hoglins, they were just spawning everywhere. And with buttons here and there, kind of every other block, or, or just sometimes in a straight line, they're, they're just not going to spawn. But they are going to spawn out here, and we actually did put some fence gates up just in case. They're going to spawn out here, though, and I did start bone mealing all this up to make it seem more like a lush land. The, uh, the hoglins, though, they're not going to come back in because as soon as they see these warped fungus, they're just going to turn right around for some reason. They're scared of these. They're, they're like giant monsters. Monsters and I, I, so I just don't understand why they're scared of these things, but they are, so it's kind of nice having them right here, and I could just plant more right here on the ground, and they won't get anywhere near the base. Bing, bang, boom, and bop. Also might as well, I kind of want to go through and make a couple more of these, it just makes the land look a lot nicer. 
and bone meal that up, get some grass in here. I do want to show you guys, though, real quick, on the last stream that I did, I had taken the time to go all the way around the edge, because I didn't mention that I wanted a fence out here, but I couldn't put it in the lava. Now what I was thinking is this giant fence that I had made, and I'll probably have to show you from farther away, all the way around there is a barrier, and it made it look kind of more fenced in like a zoo, but I actually do like it. It brings a lot more depth into the build. We have crimson up here. We also have the soul campfires that are still up here as well. I kind of like it. It brought it all together, and I figured since we do have some plants from the overworld, why not bring some lights in from the end? So we have some end rods chilling right in the middle and right on the end. More striders. We want more striders. Everybody, make more striders, please. So many baby striders. This is awesome. We officially have a strider hot spring. I am I'm so excited. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. I can't believe we're 36 episodes down. 37 episodes is about to be next week. Also, guys, we cannot forget we're at day 4,987 right now. So that's, uh, that's kind of insane. And I'm thinking that the 5,000 days video is going to come out before episode 37. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for joining on any of the streams if you did i do appreciate you thanks for being a patreon member and thanks for just watching these videos in general i, re I really do appreciate all the support and it really does mean a lot to me guys thank you so much for being here and i'll see you guys next time bye